right, crew, we're back with a, uh, a short intermission. Coming at you raw. I appreciate you coming along for another another boxing uh, adventure. This one is for number 140 LMK. Number 140 is a little different. It's my first uh, uh, kitchen utility knife. And I'll tell you, this was a, a, a fun yet challenging, very, very challenging build. Um, and I did a few things a little different, as you, you may or may not be able to tell right off the bat with a, a quick uh, pass by. Because this is a kitchen utility knife, uh, the sheath is uh, more of a guard. Uh, that's it. In doing so, the sheath is the first uh, removable sheath system or um, yeah you know you can you can open the sheath up let it air out uh, you know it the, the kydex itself will clamp down but I put in these custom um, they're not Chicago screws there's something else because what these these Chicago type screws are are actual solid brass and the for uh, the, the goalie masks uh, on for, for hockey for a hockey goalie mask and they look amazing and uh, they have the they're local uh, they're made uh, three miles from my house and these things are, are awesome uh, they make a, a very 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 cool accent so if you if you get moisture in there because you're in a rush, or if there's any any food particles or pathogens you, you're worried about getting out, you can go ahead and use some detergent, uh, wash it out thoroughly. Uh, you can take your Chicago screws or your male female screws out. Your fasteners is what these are. What I, um, I was told these are called. Uh, you can take the fasteners out. Um, and, and go ahead and, um, you know, probably have to put something, uh, a toothpick or two in there to space out the Kydex a little bit and uh, let it air dry. Kydex is not actual Kydex, it's uh, OAD Holstex carbon fiber, match out with the um, F50 carbon fiber from Nate over at Ghost Carbon Fiber. I love this stuff. I love it. Contoured. A um, little, little heavier than normal, so you have a nice balance point uh, if you're doing any of your uh, roll chopping or your uh, slice cutting. This is an absolutely ridiculous high performance variable grind, but it's not a variable, it's a compound grind. Um, but this is as zero grind as you can get leading up into the compound tip so you if you are going to do a little more strenuous a little more hard use you obviously uh, you go into that uh, sharp as ridiculous sharp as you can imagine um, this thing is just cuckoo Now, if you notice that it was a diagonal cut, a pierce cut, that was a wet one. This thing is crazy. This is this has potential of being the sharpest knife I have ever. Oh, dang it! Not even on camera. Oh, I just I cut that the first time. This is potential the sharpest knife I've ever made. Uh, no joke. Um, so I'm uh, I'm highly impressed with this knife. Although it took me a exorbitant amount of time to grind it because there it is. Because I you know turned the machine down and ran. It wasn't. I wasn't. I ran the, the belts wet, ran the machine slow to, to be able to achieve that 
ultra, ultra, ultra thin grind, post heat treat, and keep her dead straight. Now, CPM D2 with the 30 degree flex to it is pretty dang impressive. Um, he treated to a, I believe, uh, Mr. Gillespie, if I was correct, uh, it was 58 to 60 Rockwell also. Uh, this is the same uh, D2 that we did that torture test where Mr. Gillespie and I snapped on video. We snapped uh, some CPM D2 to see how, how much flex uh, it could take. And then after that, that day, Mr. Gillespie and I actually had a different opinion of D2. Uh, we have no problem making a kitchen knife out of it, uh, a kitchen utility knife out of it. Uh, I wouldn't do a chef knife because chef knife is a little bit bigger than what I'd want to go. Uh, but even a fillet knife. Uh, so, because, I mean, the, these tactical hearts are what this knife is. Absurdly easy. It's just ridiculous. This thing, this knife is so sharp. It's not the, you know, it's crazy. <laughs> it's just, it's, I'm very, very impressed, but it's, not so much how sharp it is, is how high of a performance this this thing has to it. Uh, talk about the knife real quick. As you can tell, maybe or maybe not by looking at it. Um, where the heck did my ruler go? I don't know. Anyway, uh, the handle. This is a a. Like so, so this is a negative angle upswept, and that's to protect your knuckles during draw cuts or slice cuts and roll chopping. Um, a little thicker tip, so you, as a utility knife, you can be a little more abusive, um, especially if you have to uh, in your your task, but you want to be. That way, out here, not in to here, uh, like ultra ultra thin grinds are. This knife is absolutely hand wash only. And go from there. Um, over the logistics of it, real quick. This is a, a certificate of purchase for my friend Jay, long time supporter. This is a negative angle upswept. That's the a blade style. This is in CPM D2. Uh, it's a kitchen utility. Uh, that's a, the uh, the model. And uh, today's date is the fifth, uh, the uh, March fifteenth, uh, two thousand fifteen. Number one forty. Lloyd Marshall. Nice to meet you. And of course, my business card to go with it. And if Jay ever needs to get a contact me he has my every all my personal contacts but before we get the knife wiped down let's get Jay's tactile hot um, in there in the business card in the certificate of purchase into his rusty rags ultimate knife care kit um, this is going to be my last ultimate knife care kit of uh, the bag style after this I have just the, the clamshells left That'll be going out with the, the custom orders after that You see how uh, Latham that rusty rags does after after I use up these clamshells if it goes back to, to the bag style or he stays with the clamshell style. I Think that's just about it for this number 140 other than the fact that uh, a Disclaimer I am going to First and foremost, I'm going to douse her down with some Rusty Rags, uh, Rusty Rags uh, oil. The 
before I put her in her sheath. I am going to take this knife back out of the sheath for pictures, uh, hopefully later on tonight. And uh, get some Instagram uploads, uh, so forth and so on. If not, it will be tomorrow morning. Hopefully the lighting will be better. And uh, I'll get them done right before I get her off. Uh, overnighted or next day to my friend Jay. Uh, if you guys or girls have any doubt about this, I appreciate you all so much. So, so much for coming along for another one of these box and adventures. Another one of these uh, adventures on this path of knife making that I'm on. Man, I'm so thankful for you. For now, oh, the one thing I think I forgot to mention was the outstanding information engraving on the spine with the uh, the F50 uh, carbon fiber is spaced out with um, classic red G10 liners. The information, uh, CPMD2, El Marshall, and number 140. I think I forgot that, but just in case, we'll set it again. If I did, I did. If I didn't, sorry for being redundant. Um, forgot what I was doing. Anyway, for now, be blessed. Thank you all for coming along for another one of these adventures. For now, I hope your week's outstanding because you deserve it. Out. Urgh.